It is much better to spot errors in the code than in the log files. JPA Buddy knows this and helps you catch issues with your JPA entities in advance with its smart inspections. The list of all inspections can be found in the settings. Some of these inspections are familiar to practically every JPA developer and are helpful in preventing simple typos or accidental omissions. For example, missing the required no argument constructor for entities or having two ID fields. Others are useful even to the most experienced developers, such as using the at table annotation together with the single table inheritance strategy. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the inspections provided by JPA Buddy. Cascade type all in JPA can cause unintended effects on unrelated entities when used in many-to-many -many relationships. This can lead to data loss or database integrity issues. Let's see it in action. We have two entities, student and course, and a many-to-many -many relationship between them. The add course method enrolls a student in a course. It updates courses set in the student entity. For the test, we create a student and two course entities, enrolling the student in both courses. After that, we persist the student entity to synchronize the changes with the database. Then we retrieve the student entity from the database and delete it. Let's verify that only the student entity has been deleted and courses still exist in the database. Oh no! The assertion indicates that we now have zero courses. Why did this happen? Let's take a look at our student entity again. JPA Buddy detects potential issues and suggests a solution for them. Let's rerun the test. It works as intended. We have two entities, user and settings. Suppose we need to fetch settings records from the database for further analysis. We decided to avoid loading unnecessary user information to optimize performance. Let's achieve this by adding the fetch type parameter to the one-to-one -one annotation and setting it to lazy. Now, let's ensure we did everything correctly and user won't be loaded along with the settings entity. Let's use the isLoaded method from the PersistenceUtil class to do this. The test is failing. But why? Let's go back to the settings entity and look at the hint provided by JPA Buddy. On the mapped by side, the associations will always be loaded, regardless of the specified fetch type. Thanks to JPA Buddy, we now know this and won't be specifying a parameter that has no effect on the performance of the application. Thank you for watching.